I'm in a driverless cab in San Francisco. This is mind-blowing tech. Let me explain. So this is essentially a Waymo, a project by Google, where they thought they could come up with driverless cars. And look, it's actually happening. Let me tell you how this actually works out. Essentially, there's AI, LiDAR sensors, and all sorts of things happening in this car. There's nearly 12 cameras around the car. If you look around, you'll see these cameras, which are mapping out everything. You can see it on the screen here in the front. There is absolutely no driver here. LiDAR sensors map out the road. It knows where it's a red light, what path it's going to actually go on. This is absolutely crazy. It's level 108, as if you ask me, because there's so much happening in terms of this particular Waymo. Now, this is a Jaguar I-Pace, an electric car. You see a lot of them all over San Francisco, but this is mind-blowing tech. It moves so smoothly. You really don't think like this is a driverless car. What I also like about the Waymo is that in the front seat, they've also put the seat belt on, telling you that this is mandatory for all passengers in the car. So safety is a big focus. So if you pull the handle, you can exit. Basically, we got in no driver. Got in, you know, we're tech geeks. We thought we'll try it out. And this is absolutely phenomenal. Smoother than any normal driver I've seen on Mumbai or Delhi roads or Bangalore roads because this guy actually did it so so nicely in terms of how he overtook or this he or she overtook let me correct myself on those zigzag san francisco streets the braking is so good as well just as i said it as well because this is absolutely crazy that technology is making this happen and adoption is is really high over here because you see waymos in every corner retrofitted with these cameras and sensors we're at a green light and we're turning <laughs> i mean the tech is turning and I'm just doing the talking. This is absolutely mind-blowing. But you have to let me know, what do you think of driverless cars? If you're watching this on any of your social media platforms, do you think this is something you would trust anywhere in the world? Would you get into this cab? It's cost me nearly, well, 20 to $30 for a distance of nearly 15 or 20 minutes. Everything is mapped out so well. If you look over here, this is an I-Pace that we've driven before on the show as well. Everything is just pinpoint perfect. The only question I'm asking is, is this the future? Can this ever be possible on Indian roads? I want you to write to me on my social media handles. But for now, enjoy the show while I enjoy the ride.